Hello, this is Angela Johnson Ayers with Life Cannot Wait, and I just wanted to say Happy Valentine's Day. I just wanted to do a short little um, entry today for a group of people who deserve a shout out, particularly on this Valentine's Day, um, and that's single working moms. Single working moms. And I'm going to tell you how I came across this revelation. Um, the other night, you know, my husband's job requires him to travel sometimes. And, you know, I was dealing with the children by myself and I had just put them down to bed and I was literally exhausted. And my mind said, there are single working moms who do this by themselves day in and day out. And I just said, I said a quick prayer for you all. I said, God bless them. You know, here I am. I mean, not to say that working moms do more um, than stay home moms and definitely not saying that single mothers do more than married mothers. But what I'm saying is I wanted to show some love to a group of people who many times um, society may look at um in a negative light because for whatever situation you may be unmarried right now, you may be raising the kids alone, whether it's because di divorce, um, death, um, or you may have gotten pregnant, you know, out of wedlock, whatever the situation is. I just want to tell you that I recognize and I see the work, the hard work that single working moms do. And I want to commend you and also encourage you. First of all, I want to commend you for the fact that regardless of why you may be raising your children alone, you're still doing it. You know, there, there are countless stories of women who have thrown their hands up in the air and say, you know what, I just can't do this anymore. Um, but you have chosen to stay in the fight. And for that, I want to commend you. I want to commend you also for you single working moms who haven't given up on your dreams. I have met so many single mothers who are not only working a, a full-time job, but you're also going to school to further your education. I mean, again, the 24 hours in my day, you and I both have the same 24 hours. And being a stay-at-home mom myself, my 24 hours during the day, the hours I'm in the home, may consist of things a little different from you, of course. Um, while you're out there in the workforce holding it down, and I'm holding it down in my, for my home, but then you still have to hold the home front down. You understand? So as, far as, a, as a married woman, I want to say to the single working moms, I see you, and I see your efforts. And I don't want you for once to feel slighted or feel less because you may not be married at this time. Um, it's so easy a lot of times for people to, to, to put that label on you where you're a single mother, so you're in a separate category, as if, as if you're less than a married woman. Yes, in a perfect world, um, one may be married. And have the whole, you know, the husband, the, the, the white picket fence, the beautiful home, you know, all of that. But when life happens, whether it's because on our own terms or, 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 or um, death or whatever happens, divorce, the point is that you stayed in the race. The second thing I want to do, I want to encourage you to continue on. For some of you um, single working mothers, it, I know it's just downright hard. Last night when I laid down, I was literally exhausted. And I said to myself, wow, not, not only do I have to do this whole thing over again tomorrow, but the single working mother has to do the same thing over again too. Get her kids ready for school, prepare food, um, pay bills, go to work, have a happy, pleasant disposition with the people she comes across so that she can do her job to the fullest. Then she has to come home and still then again deal with the children, help with homework, blah, 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 whatever, the after school activities. And I want to encourage you all that you're not um, alone in this. Also, I want to encourage you that it's not going to stay the same forever. You know, my mom always tells me, as so children do grow up, you know, um, situations change. 
And so I want to encourage you to know, particularly on this Valentine's Day, where you may feel like I'm alone. You know, Valentine's Day has messed with so many people's minds because it, they start feeling like, well, I'm just alone. There's no one to give me flowers. There's no one to take me out to dinner. One of the things I used to do when I was single on Valentine's Day, especially, and this was definitely when I had, when I was in relationships or when I had, you know, male suitors, most Valentine's Days I wanted to spend by myself. And I know that sounds crazy. I mean, I may get flowers and I may get, I would get invitations, but it was the one day where I say, you know what, I'm going to pamper myself. And and I want to encourage you all that this day, don't feel like, well, I'm a single mom. Nobody's going to want me. I'm not desirable. Stop thinking that way. You understand? Because first of all, that's an untruth. You were fearfully and wonderfully made. God made you for a purpose. And just because for whatever reason, you may be raising children alone, you have to move on. You have to forgive yourself. You have to forgive others. And you have to know that God is no respecter of persons. If he loves you and he can love me in spite of my mistakes, he'll love you too. You understand? If you desire a mate and if that's in the cards for you and he desires that for you, he wouldn't withhold that from you. The word says that no good thing will he withhold from you if you walk uprightly. Doesn't mean you're going to be perfect. None of us are perfect. But I just want to encourage you moms, you single working moms this Valentine's Day, that I see you and I commend you and, and, and I encourage you to continue on and not to give up and that you're not alone. I want to encourage those of you who um, may have thought, you know, I'm a single mom, I'm going to have to give up on my dreams. I believe that people can have it all, mothers can have it all, but just in different seasons. And so right now, your season may be, you may not have the time or energy right now uh, to go back to school or, or, or to do whatever, something that you have always dreamed of doing. But start plotting how you may be able to do it. You understand what I'm saying? I want to encourage you not to stop in your journey to be the best that you want to be. But I know so many times the stigma that a lot of single mothers carry in the back of their minds is almost like an unspoken stigma. You know, um, you may say, yeah, I'm, I'm a proud uh, single mom. But in the back of your mind, because the world and society has told you that, well, you you made a mistake or, or you you're by yourself. You're less than and you're not. You're not. Me being a married woman makes me no better a mother than you might may be. You understand what I'm saying? I sometimes still yell at my kid when I shouldn't. You yell at your kid probably when you shouldn't. I sometimes um, overreact to things. You sometimes overreact. You understand what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I just want you to know Angela Johnson airs, sees, and commends what you single working mothers go through on a daily basis. And so for this Valentine's Day, I want to dedicate this day to you all. I want to dedicate um, the fact that you didn't give up. You understand? That in spite of it, you didn't give up. And that speaks volumes. Do you know how many women, how many abused women stay in marriages, stay in abusive marriages, just because they don't want the, quote, stigma of being a single mother? Let me tell you, when I was younger, I'm 45 now, when I was much younger, I got married. Those of you who don't know my story, um, I knew I shouldn't have married him, but I got impatient. I was tired of waiting on God, and I married this dude. I eloped, and I knew I had made a mistake. And... He was verbally abusive to me. He never put his hands on me. If he did, I would tell you. Nothing to be ashamed of. Things happen. Um, he did not put his hands on me. However, he was extremely verbally abusive. And I thank God that I, I had the um, state of mind to leave. Actually, I had escaped from my life. And that's something, you know, if you don't know my story, I'm sure you, you can find it on some of my blogs or, or on my YouTube or somewhere where I'm talking about how, how I had escaped from my life. But a lot of women stay. I decided not to stay because I knew I was better than that. And there are some of you all who may be in a divorce state right now because your mate was abusive. And you had the strength, fortitude, and, and wisdom to say, you know what? 
I can love him or I can believe God for him away from him. You understand what I'm saying? I am better than this abuse. So I want to let you women out there who left a bad situation, an abusive, dangerous situation that I commend you for choosing yourself and your children over just the, the, the um, what do you call it, the title of being a wife. You watch it on the reality shows all the time. You see these women who clearly their husbands, they're either cheating on them. They are <laughs> physically or verbally abusive, but they stay because they want the title. Now, I'm not a proponent and I'm not telling you to divorce somebody. If there are situations where you know you and him can work that thing out, then you work it out. But if your life is on the line, if this person gives you uh, um, sound biblical reasons, if this person is cheating on you and disrespecting you and, and you run the chance of, of, of him bringing disease to you, if he's beating on your head and beating on your children, you are better than that. You don't have to stay in that. And you don't let people tell you that you do. And this Valentine's Day, I want you to know that, honey, I see you, single working mothers, and I commend you. So I want to say a happy Valentine's Day to you all. Whenever I see a heart today, whenever I see some flowers or some, some strawberries, I'm thinking of you all, you single working mothers, because you're holding it down. And I want you to know I appreciate you. I want you to have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.